Okay, just gonna make a quick video of how to use my Arduino for this project. Uh, let's go ahead from ground up, plug this guy in. Alright, and we're going to have to quickly change our USB port mode. And then, what we're going to need to do is come over to this piece of racket code. I'll say run do 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 all right and you can see now that this is blinking basically what has happened is um, it has initialized all right where is the initialize code here it is initialize um, basically we um, we set our um, was this, ease our clock. We set that to high. Everything else low, um, and then we set five, four, and three data pins. And we flash the clock. That sets this into um, what would that be? Sixteen by two, and we're using five by eight characters for this display. And that sets that mode. Uh, turn on basically just flashes the pins to. Um, reset and turn on the screen and then clear the screen sets it back to the initial position and starts the cursor um, those are some cursor functions all right and let's show a little bit of the functionality that's been written here uh, i've got a couple of commands uh, that i've written as as an interpreter uh, they're down here you just tap into the interpreter and it, it runs a little piece of code and I guess we'll start with plain text. Plain text has to be quoted so so if I type in plain text just like that uh, surrounded by text obviously it will print it will print plain text as we can see. Now um, this also accepts commands that are unquoted so if I want to clear the screen set myself the clear screen command right there and bink screen got cleared um, some other things um, I don't have word wrap on this so if you type something that's too long it doesn't show up but um, if you type a piece of text and just call it something and then you want to move on to the second line you can go jump to the second line, and write something else. And uh, then you can just go ahead and clear it again. And um, yeah, that, that's, that's the basic functionality. It runs by setting a few or actually a lot of the, uh, the pinouts using a, uh, there's a large hash map, and then there is a, basically a hexadecimal to pinout interpreter, which has been written here, and then, well, that's, that's basically it, and then, uh, got a nice little demo. Let's see what else we got. Little Easter egg. And that's, that's about everything.